seriously got to be like one of the most beautiful national forests I've ever driven in. I don't know if y'all can hear the the river right down below. It is loud though, and our camping spot's supposed to be right next to it. There were a couple other vehicles when I was driving in here, so I'm kind of crossing my fingers that they're not up at this spot, but we'll see. We'll see, baby. Dude, tell me this is not the sickest freaking camping spot. I mean, I'm I'm seriously in the middle of nowhere right now. I'm down a forest service road in the middle of the Washington State Forest or the uh, Olympic National Forest. It's like the coolest thing in the world. Let me go ahead and show you real quick. It's getting kind of dark, but it's a freaking sick camping spot. So we've got the van. As you can see, the trails are very muddy, very muddy, but held up freaking tires are grabbing but this right here is the money shot baby check this out guys talk about one of the sickest camping spots you could possibly have look how excited lola is now the van it's right up there so we will be hearing this river all night probably sleeping like a freaking baby dude look at how crystal clear all of this water is Seriously, this has gotta be like the coolest thing in the freaking world, dude. I love these kind of freaking camping spots. Love them. Now, if any of y'all ever come camping in bear country like this, make sure you're always carrying your bear spray because these bad boys are everywhere here. Just trying to be safe, especially for my baby girl right there, my little pup. But I don't know if y'all can hear that freaking creek, that river. Thing sounds sick, dude. I'm gonna be sleeping like a baby tonight, seriously. Probably the best sleep I'll ever have. So I've got a pretty good meal lined up to cook tonight. I'm actually gonna cook some chicken Alfredo, baby. Now, I don't have a table to cook outside, but I really wanna listen to these freaking nice river sounds. So I have a makeshift table on top of one of my crates that I'm just gonna throw my grill on real quick. And we're gonna cook all our chicken and boil all our noodles right here. All right, so we've got both our pans right here. We got noodle pan, chicken pan, got some pan and noodles. And then we've got some good old fresh chicken breast. Now, as you all know, I am a terrible cook, but we're gonna try to cook this right. But I'm also not putting a ton of ingredients on it. So all I really have are the noodles, the chicken, so I'm not gonna season it. And then the Alfredo sauce. I'm, I'm a pretty simple dude, so should come out mint i hope so false alarm on cooking outside i might just pop the windows open i'm kind of a chicken poop when it comes to bears and as you can see it is starting to get dark and i'm backed right up to the woods so i don't really know if bears hibernate here because it's not snowing i don't know how hibernation really works i should probably know this better but i think we're gonna go ahead and move everything on to the inside and probably cook on the inside just to be safe so we have everything moved into the beast here we've got our chicken our pan and noodles and a bertoli alfredo sauce so we're gonna get ripping on this bad boy so we got to get this water to a boil for the noodles we just sprayed pam on the chicken pan so we're gonna i guess throw the chicken on for i don't know how long we're just gonna kind of wing it till it looks cooked so now the noodles got to boil for about 10 to 12 minutes and we'll just keep checking on our chicken baby hi baby I think baby girl is waiting for her share of the food. But I'll tell you, I love this van. It really is the perfect size. It's a it's a Chevy Express, so it's not massive, but I mean, you've got a, a full bed with a 
huge thick mattress. I got my flat screen Xbox and my whole little kitchen area here with my little puppy. Let me do a puppy. I think this chicken's done. We're gonna go ahead and pull that off. Let the noodles kind of simmer a little bit more before we mix everything together. Oh, oh yeah, perfect, baby. See how these noodles are. And they're almost there, not quite. But we'll go ahead and cut this chicken up real quick so it's ready to go. I think the noodles are perfect now. Nice and toasty, bud. Nice and toasty. All right, once we've got all the noodles and the chicken done, we're gonna mix it all together. Super easy. Once you got everything poured in, just go ahead and start mixing, baby. And voila, it's all done and ready to serve on the plate and to papa pita. So I went with a garlic alfredo sauce. Dude, this stuff came out freaking perfect. Not bad for an F minus cook. So I'm going to be a good slash bad dog dad. Got a bunch of extra noodles. And I know Lola Pup wants some, so I'm gonna give her a little bit. I think she'll be pumped. Here you go, baby. Here's your noodles. Oh yeah. She loves that, she loves human food. So I just got done cleaning everything up. I've got this whole book full of DVDs and I bring them with me on purpose when I don't have service and I can't watch Netflix. Well, normally my Xbox will play DVDs and it's not working. I don't know why, this kind of sucks. If any of y'all know why this is not working, please let me know. I've got the Blu-ray DVD app or whatever that you need to play DVDs, but I don't know, not working. Might have to buy a DVD player. So I guess we're gonna resort to read the book. Is it bad that I'm 26 years old, coming on 27, and I'm still kind of scared of the dark yeah, I don't know. Bears scare me, I guess. But I just got the diesel heater kind of whipped up. It's going to get a little chilly tonight. I believe there's like a low of 28 or 30. And it might actually snow, which would be kind of cool. But yeah, got that bad boy warming up right now. And should be nice and toasty to hit the sheets. All right, y'all. I think I'm going to hit the sheets. It's, it's a little early, but I'm beat, dude. It's been a long day. So I'll see y'all in the morning. Good night. Good morning, dudes. Good morning, Lola. Ugh. Now that it is daytime, let me go ahead and show you how sick this camping spot is. Like, literally right on the river. It's nice and loud. I slept like a freaking baby, dude. Come on, doofus. Come on. Good girl. All right, so yeah, we're literally right on the river. It's nice and loud. It's roaring. You can also see how cold it got last night. It's uh, a little bit icy. But that was our camping spot. Backed right up to the woods. And there's the river, baby. That is straight glacier water, dude. That is so blue and clear. That's insane. <laughs> I mean, that is, oh. Is that not like the most peaceful sound you've ever heard? Oh, it's so nice. You can see how big some of these trees are too. I don't know, this was a dope spot to camp. 
That's freaking sick, boy. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my drone up real quick so y'all can kind of see what the, the outer landscape looks like. There is something wrong with my drone. As I was flying it, the thing just started steering on its own and freaking crashed into the river. So I've got to somehow get down and grab the dang thing. I hope it still freaking flies, man. This is just the start of the trip. Well, there she is. And I think it's freaking broken. Ah. <sighs> Oh, shoot, we might be good. Moment of truth. Let's see if she still flies. All right. <laughs> we got lucky today. Holy crap. I seriously was worried about that, man. I, I only had this drone for like six months. So I think we're going to work our way out of here. It's starting to rain and the roads are really muddy. So we're just going to work our way back to the mainland. So y'all come along, baby. but I think I'm gonna to try to haul butt out of this trail because I think y'all remember what happened last time I was driving around in snow. Not trying to let that happen again. So it's not falling super strong yet, but you can see the snow is starting to stick to the ground. And all it takes is for one snowstorm to come through real quick and get me stuck <laughs> it sucks having a two-wheel drive thing sometimes even with good tires sometimes they can get stuck on wet grass pretty much that's why i'm kind of worried about the snow starting to drop because even if the ground gets frozen and it starts to get some ice on top and i think that's gonna do it for this video guys we just made it to the main road again the beast is a little bit dirty those roads are muddy there towards the end but I guess I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching and I appreciate all y'all support. Thanks, bye.